What's going on everybody? Bulldog Gaming here coming to you from the truck. Yeah, sorry about the lighting. I'm actually using the light that I just now figured out that I have on the front of my phone uh, with the forward facing camera. Um, so if I would have known this a long time ago, the last dark video actually would have came out a lot better. Um, it is nighttime. Uh, ran all day from Houston up here to Tulsa. I am uh, actually in town. They called me Monday. Yes, the beard is gone. Uh, and so is the goatee. Uh, they called me on Monday. Uh, they want me to get up here and get an estimate for the last accident that I was involved in, backing accident. Uh, I was backed into in Arkansas. So I am actually in town so I can get the estimate and hopefully get my headlight uh, assembly replaced uh, which I didn't I didn't show any of the damage from that uh, or actually any of the damage so uh, probably do a video walk around of the truck so I can show you what's exactly going on with my truck uh, body damage wise God, I look stoned in this Ooh. but uh, don't mind my antics I'm a little tired uh, like I said I ran all day from Houston up to here so I can get this taken care of and uh, hopefully get like I said the headlight assembly put in and uh, make my truck a little bit more legal than it is it, it, it's legal but it's not 100% legal And the reason why I say that is because my left headlight does this going down the road at night. And if a comp looks at me going down the road, it looks like I have a wigwag on my left side, which is illegal to have because I'm not a heavy haul truck. Uh, and it is kind of a safety issue, too, for the other motoring public. Uh, because if that thing were to do this, it could blind people because I've got projector headlights. Um, so that is what's on the agenda. Don't mind the shirt decal. No, this is not who I drive for anymore. This was one of my shirts from my past company. Uh, so don't mind the logo. No shout out. In fact, I'll cover that up. But uh, this is who I used to drive for. But uh, I just wanted to give you all the heads up on uh, what's going on with the truck. I told you that I'd been backed into a couple of times, um, uh, which prompted uh, one of my other videos. Uh, the uh, Oh, the goal video, uh, the get out and look video. Uh, so twice I have been backed into. Uh, the first time the guy didn't even get out and look. And the second time the guy got out and looked and he said he judged, misjudged uh, distances and backed into me and messed up my headlight, kind of tweaked my hood mirror and put a big scrape on my bumper, which is a brand new bumper from back in June when I slid in the mud and hit a fence. So all my damage is on this side of the truck, on the left side of the truck, so it people stare at my truck going down the road um, so and y'all know me I like to drive and I have a little bit of pride in the unit that I drive so I can't wash my truck till it's fixed so two things are gonna happen tomorrow one they're gonna replace the headlight assembly and which will make me a little bit more legal the truck will still be messed up from the damage that's try to point this out it's right back there the back side of the sleeper um, stand up that, that, yeah that's not that corner of my sleeper down below the bunk is where the damage is on the outside of the truck um, and both of my fairings are messed up so uh, like I said I'm gonna do a video walk around and show you the damage uh, to, I'll, I'll video it and talk through and explain um, what's going on uh, and what they've said. Uh, so 
And the other thing, the second thing that'll go on tomorrow, and my fingers are crossed, they actually put me in a different truck. Um, that way, this one that I'm in right now can go. Yes, that's my, uh, my knee on camera. I'm in shorts. It's not hot, but I, I'm comfortable. But uh, I just had a boom. But uh, if they get me into another truck, this one can be sat and I can go pick up my load for my next from next week, go home, spend time at home with the family, and then hit the road again on Monday morning going back into Texas. So I'm doing some down and backs to Texas. Uh, they're decent miles, um, and they pay, pay pretty decent. If I was an owner-operator, they'd pay a lot better, but I'm not going to owner-op, not, not in real life. That's why I play American Truck Simulator because I can owner up and make buku money and, and all that. But uh, so, uh, but yeah, I'll get a video out uh, showing the damage to my truck and then uh, from what it looks like right now. And then I'll do another video, an updated video of after the damage is repaired or show you the damage and then show you the new truck if they get newer if new to me uh, if they decide to go ahead and put me into a different truck so uh this will be season two episode three uh of the ramblings from the truck uh but like i said i'm in tulsa to get this all squared away and hopefully we will get some answers tomorrow because i gotta go to the yard anyways and uh and need a little bit more trimming on the mustache. Uh, go to the yard and see what they say. Uh, hopefully they say, oh, by the way, we've got a truck over here that's empty. Can you move into it? We're going to keep that one. And I'll move into it. And then I'll go hook up to an empty and be feet. Actually, i got to go hook up to the empty as soon as I'm, I'm done at Kenworth. Uh, so as soon as I'm done at Kenworth, go get an empty and then go to the yard. Because i got to get uh, this year's if the sticker and uh, all that good googly moogly taken care of before I go to Kansas. So uh, we'll catch you all on the flip. Thank you for uh, spending some time in my channel. And uh, welcome all new subscribers to the channel. And uh, if you're new to the channel and this is the very first video that you're seeing, hit that subscribe button. Uh, I'm doing ramblings from the truck vlogs here on my channel right now uh, till. I make a decision, um, sort of made a, a, a split decision last year, right before the end of the year, uh, about pulling all of my gaming stuff from YouTube, uh, but I'm doing a little bit more in-depth research, and I may be bringing back some of the gaming back to YouTube, um, but it will not be PG-13, uh, so, because I've already got it set up that uh, most of my stuff is for mature audience more mature audiences than than what they consider a child which is uh, uh, a child 13 eight, uh, 13 years old old and younger and uh, so uh, that's that and uh, I want to give a big shout out to silent fan 85 yes yeah, silent fan 85 Ooh, brain farts it's too late it's late in the evening and I'm drinking soda should be drinking soda this late but uh big shout out to silent fan 85 uh he i was going to tell you all this on monday but he interviewed me uh on sunday for a series that's going on on his youtube channel uh so i'll have to go back and look and i will let you all know uh the exact date uh that my interview with him comes out on his channel and i will post a link in the description on that video that i tell you the date so you can go to silent fan 85 and go check out him interviewing me so uh, look forward to that um again 
thank you for stopping by, spending some time in my channel. This has uh, actually been kind of fun to reach out to you guys, give you what's in, going on in my my mind going down the road. Um, and I'm just going to ramble on a little bit more because I have another uh, I have another idea for a vlog from the truck. But I haven't figured out how I'm going to do it yet. So look forward to another style of vlog from the truck uh, in the future. So, uh, yeah, look for that. Uh, I'll make an announcement video uh, during the, uh, probably after one of my ramblings. So uh, we'll catch you all on the flip.